Hello, this is Sydney Sonny and welcome to my Publishing 100 series. This is Publishing 106. I actually decided to extend my Publishing 100 series to answer certain questions that are coming my way. So I want you to sit back, get something you can write in, and I'll see you on the inside. Today, I'm going to talk about the reason why you should consider putting your book in the form of an audio. All right. So basically, I'm talking about audio books. And, you know, it's one of the things you should really think about when you are, you know, even before you finish writing and publishing your book. But I'm going to share with you today four reasons why you should put your book in audio form. Now, the first reason I'm going to share is, number one, because people learn in different ways. Now, audio is very funny, isn't it? It's very, very interesting. Um, But you need to understand that certain people learn in different ways. So not everyone likes to read a book, you know, the traditional way, you know, sit down in a classroom or sit down at home on a couch or on their beds to actually read And then I've discovered also that a lot of people are very busy these days, but people still want to learn. They still want to read. They still want to study. So how do you get around this? And I've discovered that the best way to get around this is actually to put your book in audio format because um, many people, you know, learn through different ways. Like I mentioned, some people it's true, you know, visuals. They like to actually watch, you know, maybe a movie, watch a a video or stuff like that. That's one of the ways they learn. Some people actually, you know, learn by actually, you know, hands-on. They are very practical. They learn by actually, you know, getting things done with their hands and trying things out. And then, of course, like I said, some people learn you know by listening to um to things you know they can they like listening so they could you could listen they learn by listening to uh, classes they learn by listening to instruction audios they learn by listening to you know anything that has to do with audio so some people also you know learn audio visually so it could be like a youtube video a lot of people do that even i do that i like watching you know a video and then of course the video has obviously it has sound so it's uh some people learn like that that's one of the best ways some people learn so you've got to put this in mind you've got to think about people learning in different ways so um that's one of the reasons why you should actually put your book in audio format the secondly um this is very, you know, this has happened all over the world. It's a, it's a great phenomenon. The the explosion of uh, the mobile phones, the, the explosion of smartphones specifically. Now, because smartphones are, you know, I mean, they, they're serious technology in your pocket. Um, a lot of um, companies, for example, Audible. Audible is actually an Amazon company. Audible actually have an audio app called, you know, yeah, it's called, Amazon has an audio app, app called Audible. Now, it's, because of that and you know coinciding with the mobile phone the smartphone explosion you know people actually um, can be reached mainly now can you imagine mainly now through their smartphones so if you want to get something across to people if you want to get a message across to people you've got to find a way to get into their mobile phones so A lot of people do that through videos. A lot of people do that through audios. But as long as people actually can see the video or listen to the audio through their mobile phones, you can be sure that you'll get your message across to people. It was not like this 10 years ago, but everything is now on your mobile phone. It's, it's everybody has, almost everybody, let me say, has a smartphone. Every, almost everybody has a smartphone. So because of this, this is actually a very good time for you to actually get your book 
in audio format because everybody will be able to have an access uh, have access to read i mean for example today i was speaking with a client and after speaking to him i you know i said look i'm just going to send you a link to an audio book it's going to be free for you because it's your first time and you can actually listen to it i mean can you see how easy it is to actually send information across to people and a lot of good information is free but hey um he's gonna listen to that audio he's gonna like it probably and it might even get him to actually start subscribing or start getting that particular author from that audio book see how that works number three is that audio books are portable very linked to number two audio books are portable you can take your an audio book as long as you have your audio book in an mp3 file you can you know you can people can access it on their on their phones and they can take it anywhere i mean for example when i'm working i'm doing my walking uh you know my exercise walk i have my phone with me and i have my earphone with me and i could be listening to an audio book or i could be listening to music or i could be listening to a podcast can you see how very important that is so you can take it anywhere it could be an exercise it could be on, on a plane i mean if for a short plane journey or even a longer plane journey if you download your audiobook onto your phone you know and you put your phone on airplane airplane mode you can actually listen to music or an audiobook and these days i mean modern cars now you can just plug your phone in uh, through Bluetooth, you know, it, your, your, your car will pick up the phone through uh, Bluetooth and you can actually listen to anything you want to listen to. Nowadays, uh, cars have what I call, uh, what is called Apple CarPlay. And of course, there's also Google, the, you know, the equivalent in Google. So you can listen to anything, pretty much anything you want. As long as it's on your phone, you can listen to it in your car. And then number four reason, it's very personal. There is something about audio. I've been listening to tapes and see this for many years there is something about audio listening to the voice of someone that has a personal effect it's a very personal thing you actually feel very close to that person you might never have met that person or you might not even meet that person physically but hearing their voice there is something about hearing somebody's voice that is uh, that makes it very personal it, it brings it you know it's you know it's it's interesting because you know it's a very how do i say i don't know how to describe it very um there's something psychologically positive about that let me put it that way it's it's very personal and you feel very close to that person and then if you listen to their their tapes um of course i mean it's a no-brainer next time they bring out a book or a, a program or next time they have a conference you probably will want to go to to that conference or pick up that new book or buy that new program or subscribe to that new uh, online course so you can see how you know how audio books can be purposed you know they can be used purposefully and strategically to actually increase your following so let me recap again number one remember that people learn in different ways get your book out there in different ways so that people can take advantage of the good information that you're giving them and they can actually take action so don't you know don't be stuck only with just a, a print book or an ebook also um make sure you make your book available in audio format because people learn in different ways in, in in education that's actually a fact and i've been in i've been a lecturer for a few years now and i've been a, a trainer for many years and i know that people learn in different ways okay number two uh the smartphone explosion has made it very necessary in fact it's almost a no-brainer if you want to reach people make sure you get into their smartphones and this today this way today uh, the best way to get into people's smartphones um, is to actually upload a video or an audio or a training i mean yeah you've got you've got youtube you've got adverts on facebook you've got instagram you've got twitter i mean it's incredible with the smartphone explosion all over the world i mean my kids 
you know, the youngest of my kids got they got they got smartphones. I mean, they can't do without it. That generation is something else. Number three, audio books are portable. It can be taken anywhere. It can be taken on on exercise. It can be taken in cars, on planes, anywhere. I mean, it could be on a train. You know, between between uh, stations on your journey somewhere, you can listen to an audio book on your, you know, on the phone app. And it's pretty, you know, um, it's a good way to actually save time and actually uh, develop yourself. Number four reason, it's a very personal thing. There's something positively psychologically, uh, psychological, beg your pardon. You know, there's something positively uh, psychological about I don't know if that's the best word. It's it's very positive. Positive, you know. It's, it's it's something positive about having you know that personal voice. It it has a an effect on your mind. Let me say that it has an effect of your mind of being personal and being very close to that person. I mean, when when I go walking or I go you know on my exercise and I listen to a voice, you know, I listen to a voice, you know, in an audio book, I feel that I'm close to that person. And of course, that affects the action you take. You could actually go on and purchase that person's, you know, the next book or the next audio book or, or go to their conference or subscribe to their course and so on and so forth. I mean, it never stops. So I, I, I believe you've learned a lot from, you know, audio books and why you need to get an audio book. And um, please do take action. There's a lot, there's a, there are a lot of voiceovers, great people who are very good in, you know, in putting an audio book together and you, you will gain from their experience. And so um, think very seriously about it, plan for it. It might cost you a twill, probably it will cost you an extra, but the advantages, you know, you know, will will far outweigh the money you've spent. Welcome back. I know you've gained a lot of good information and, and actionable things you can do from my last session. Now, if you need to reach me, you can email me. My email is consultant at publishingbrain.com that's consultant at publishingbrain.com so till next time and i'll bring you another nugget in my publishing 100 series i'll see you on the inside